take a moment. Take, take something. You know, when we're uh, just busy with life, maybe if you're a mom, you'll understand this, but like you're busy in your day, and then your kids come up and they just want all your attention right then, right? But it's so hard to stop what you're doing and just give that what they need. And, what they, and you love them so much, it doesn't mean that you don't love them. But I'm saying, we can, sometimes we only have like a one-track mind that we can only do one thing at a time. But today we're putting our Savior first. And we're coming in here, we're saying, God, I put my focus only on you. And this word that I'm singing today is from your word. And it says, nothing shall be impossible. And your kingdom is unstoppable. And talking about shouting in this place and lifting up a praise. Amen. Come on, let's begin to sing these words and realize that we can worship him. and there's just such a power when we come together I don't want to ever discount that there seriously is something that happens when we join faith together so you may come into this time and um, you know want to take a turn and come up here we have this book of miracles that we're been writing in all year guys let's not let's not grow weary in what God is calling us to do this year let's not grow weary in what we're praying and believing for and I just want y'all to help me pray today we have some believers that we really want to lift up this morning you may look around the room and see some that are not here this morning and we're going to li be lifting those up there's others that I don't know about that you guys know these families you know um, you know these church members that are going through something right now that you can pray and lift them up. There's things that I don't know in your own life that God knows and He wants to hear. He wants to hear you come and bring these things to Him, whether it's, you know, coming and kneeling at the altar or going to lay hand on somebody's shoulder and lifting them up during this time of worship. I'm just saying, let the freedom of the Holy Spirit flow during this time. But will you just join with me? We're going to agree over these members. We're going to agree over the, the miracles that we're going to believe in God to see this year. I know there's been so many already answered but we're still, uh, you know, staying the course and we're believing to see some amazing things happen this year. Breakthrough miracles that where, um, you know, maybe the medical community says, no, this is not possible. But God says, yes, in me, all things are possible. So let's just go to him. However, we want to go to him in prayer right now, God. And we lift these people up, Lord, even... Um, you know, those that we that we love that usually are up here today, and we lift up Brother Naaman, we lift up Miss Kay. We, you know what the, the health battle that he's facing right now, and I 
thank you that every week we have seen that your strength in his body. We have seen and we have declared that he is cancer free in the name of Jesus. And we continue to lift them up and we, we call out Han over Hannah Rawson today. We thank you, God, that that baby girl is safe and healthy right now, Lord, and that you have enabled her to continue that pregnancy, Lord, and that you, I want to speak even to her blood pressure and all and the things that are in her body that, that need to come down. And we speak over those things and thank you for a miracle in her life and in Justin and their family, God. There's so many others I know facing health battles and facing family issues, God. We call up those out over you, over to you right now. We call those names to you, God. God, we, we join together as a body of Christ and believing over these things, Lord. There's things that I have written in this book, Lord, that I'm believing miracle breakthrough for for family members and for myself and for our family, God. And I think you're able and faithful to do what you have said, God. We apply our faith right now. We love you, God. Thank you, God, that you encourage us as we continue to worship you right now. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Y'all just continue to worship him in freedom today, especially as we sing this song, because we're going to declare who God is. We're going to call out to him. We're going to declare who he is and also see that he is the same. He is the same, and he's going to do that in our life too, in Jesus' name. I'm calling on the God of Jacob. Love endures through generations. I know that you will keep your covenant. I'm calling on the God of Moses, the one who opened up the ocean. I need you now to.
Thank you. 